In a prior video, I assembled the Win 4214 drill press. Today I'm going to show you its functions and operations. On That's How We Do It. Let's start with the power function. There's an easy switch to flip on and off. It comes with this key that when removed prevents the press from turning on. It's a nice little safety feature. This press has a variable speed function. We can use the speed lever on the side to select what speed we want our press at. When adjusting the speed, we make sure that we do it when the press is on. The press is advertised to have between 580 RPMs and 3200 RPMs. Mine ranges from 3140 RPMs to 530 RPMs, which is a little off as advertised, but close enough for what I will be doing with it. There's a digital readout that displays the RPMs. This is a nice convenience, instead of always having to continually change the belts and pulleys to get the correct speed when needed and the digital readout allows me to know the exact speed I'm at. This press has a 12 inch swing. We can see that there are six inches from the center of the table to the support column, which means we can drill the center of a 12 inch workpiece. The spindle has a travel of three and one eighth inches, which gives me plenty of room to make deep holes in my workpieces. There's a drilling depth gauge that can be easily used to stop the bit at a pre-measured depth. This makes it easy to do repetitive holes at the same depth on your projects. The depth gauge also comes in handy when we need to remove our arbor and chuck. By locking the spindle all the way down, we can access the arbor. We turn the chuck until we can see the top of the arbor. I place a cloth on my table and raise my table up until it almost touches the chuck. I don't want my chuck to fall out freely when it becomes loose, and this will prevent that. We take the included wedge and place it into the slot and lightly tap it with a hammer until it wedges the arbor and the chuck out of the spindle. There is an included light and laser on the press. The LED light is built in and provides plenty of light. The laser can be hard to see if working in a backlit area, but is very accurate right out of the box. The table has an extension that is easily adjusted and allows for longer work pieces. We can also adjust the table to any position we need. We can rotate it around the column, raise and lower it, and we can also tilt it if needed by loosening the screw underneath the arm. There is a zero gauge that allows you to return the table to a flat surface. But to ensure that it is in fact flat, I use my digital angle finder to confirm and make adjustments as needed. This is a neat little drill press that wasn't that expensive and offers a lot of features and will be a great addition to my shop. Thanks for joining us today. I've included links in the description below for the items that were used in today's video. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can get more content out to you. Until next time, this is John on That's How We Do It.